2022 was all about destinations reopening and the lessening or even elimination of travel restrictions. For travelers, 2023 will be the year of revenge travel. Our list of 10 places to travel to in 2023 is a mix of favorites worth visiting anew and lesser known or even once forbidden regions ready to welcome travelers. What unifies the destinations on this list are highly anticipated new offerings and evolutions. There's something here for every kind of traveler. Whether you seek extraordinary excursions through ancient rainforests, a blossoming culinary scene, or dazzling cultural calendars. We've sorted this list alphabetically because it's just too hard to rank them in a meaningful way. No matter where you go, each destination is an opportunity for richer engagement with local communities, slower travel, and more meaningful, even joyful, human connections. Australia Go for indigenous-led experiences and new hotels. International visitors have missed Australia during the pandemic, and with travel returning down under, it's also an opportunity to connect with the country in new ways. From hosting one of the largest pride celebrations in the world to its new indigenous tours over the bridge, return to Sydney and see it from a new perspective. Or for something different that works whether you have just a few days or weeks. The mind-blowingly large region of Western Australia offers so many opportunities to take up an epic journey. Hop between cities by air or spend days or weeks driving by car. There's a lot to check out on the western side of Down Under. Australia is making an effort to return the land to its native people. For travelers, this shift is yielding new experiences guided by the insight of the original stewards of the land. The ancient rainforest of the UNESCO World Heritage listed Daintree National Park was part of a parcel returned in 2021, and now the eastern Kuku Yalanji people are managing the national park alongside the state government. At the newly opened Mossman Gorge Cultural Center, an ecotourism hub operated by mostly indigenous staff, visitors walk the land with traditional custodians as guides. Kuku Yalanji cultural habitat tours include night walking, crabbing, and spearfishing under the moon. And on walkabout cultural adventures, indigenous plants and medicines are highlighted on guided rainforest excursions. Bookend your adventures with a night in any of the chic hotels and resorts set to call Queensland home in 2023, including the Mondrian Gold Coast and the Ritz-Carlton Brisbane, part of the Queen's Wharf project that is transforming the river's edge. Also, Brisbane's Suncorp Stadium will host eight games in July and August for the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, co-hosted by Australia and New Zealand. California Go for new wine country stays and wilderness excursions. Of course, there are the beaches, amusement parks, and Hollywood. But along California's central coast, you can explore the redwood forests and visit the vineyards that produce Pinot and Chardonnay. In the Santa Juez Valley, cowboy towns like Los Alamos are becoming destinations that are known but not too known. It's the hippest new getaway for Angelinos with funky wine tasting rooms and casually chic restaurants. Moving northeast, Mammoth Lake stuns in the snow and the summer sun. While famed for some of the best skiing and snowboarding in California, seasonal snowmelt reveals wonderful campgrounds and a web of incredible hiking trails, several of which lead to pristine alpine lakes. Though California is a wildly popular destination, Few folks head further north than San Francisco, but what a mistake it is to miss Mount Shasta. Dense forests, pristine lakes, and outdoor adventures are aplenty, as is a welcoming sense of camaraderie. This gorgeous destination is treasured by wilderness lovers and spiritual seekers, many with fascinating beliefs about the region's mysterious volcano. The air is crisp, the lakes and rivers teem with trout, and cozy lodges invite you to the warmth of their stone hearth fireplaces. Mount Shasta is a quintessential mountain town in the truest form. Canada Go for the indigenous-led experiences and wilderness journeys. 
Canada is an expansive country and offers great travel opportunities on both the Atlantic and Pacific coasts. On the Atlantic, Nova Scotia can't be confined to one town. The best way to experience the postcard perfect communities that dot its shores is by taking a journey driving between seaside villages. On the other side of Canada, in British Columbia, there are new indigenous led experiences to connect travelers with the nature and local cultures. Many long weekend travelers to British Columbia don't make it past Vancouver, but it would be a shame to miss the stunning town of Squamish. This mountain village is located just an hour north and brims with natural beauty. Take in picturesque views on the sea to sky gondola and hike to the summit of the Stawamus chief monolith. Trails also lead through the lush forests and to alpine lakes as well as to Shannon Falls, a breathtaking 335 meter cascade. By visiting, you'll quickly discover why many in Western Canada describe the region as the West Coast best coast. Columbia. Go for coffee farm visits and adventures. In the last decade, Colombia has shed its former reputation and is now regarded as one of the most affordable and culturally vibrant travel destinations in the world. Undoubtedly, your experiences in the South American country ought to include a stop in the Andean metropolis of Bogota. Travelers gravitate to La Candelaria, a labyrinth of cobbled streets and alleyways lined with budget hostels, chic coffee shops, rooftop breweries, and timeless Colombian restaurants like La Puerta Falsa. Adventurers will love climbing Cerro de Montserrat for stunning city views, while history buffs will enjoy browsing the fascinating Museo del Oro. But if the destination's less traveled is your style, then consider Salento. Halfway between Bogota and Cali is the Andean town of Salento, a quaint mountain village that inspired the setting for Disney's 2021 musical Encanto. Subsequently, eager travelers have flocked to Salento to witness the magic the movie is based on. Peppering the hillsides of Salento are some of the most productive coffee and chocolate estates in South America, many of which offer interactive tours. Nearby, Cocora Valley is home to the tallest palm trees in the world, while Los Nevados National Park features snow-capped peaks for summiting. France Go for renewed historic chateaus and luxury train journeys. You'll always have Paris, so maybe it's time to be more daring and escape the throngs of other tourists in the French capital. Marseille is both beachy and urban, French and Mediterranean, modern and historic. Go for the beach by all means, but with its diverse neighborhoods, street art, and architectural tours, as well as cave paintings dating back 20,000 years in a new museum, there's a lot to learn here too. For the slower travelers, there's the Loire Valley. France's Loire Valley has always banked on its abundance of royal chateaus and lush landscapes to draw in travelers. However, very recently, thanks to the initiatives of hoteliers, creatives, and chefs, the region sought to go beyond its picturesque historical marvels to establish new reasons to visit. For those who want to sleep within the majestic confines of a castle, the Chateau Louis de la Valliere is a new five-star accommodation. Occupying a 16th century chateau set within a 47-acre park that served as the first holiday residence of Louis de la Valliere, the first official mistress of Louis XIV, the 20-room property has been restored and redesigned to its centuries-old glory. It approximates the style of the era down to the period dress sported by staff in addition to original paintings, tapestries, decorative pieces, and even mealtime rituals. But the newest way to make a stopover arrives next summer with the inaugural Le Grand Tour experience from Puy de Fa. The six-day luxury train journey spans a more than 3,000-kilometer tour of France in a Belle Epoque carriage, bringing guests to Chenonceau for a night, with private visits to the namesake chateau. Japan Go for the expedition cruises and new onsen experiences. Tokyo is amazing and Kyoto is beautiful, but consider other areas if visiting Japan in 2023. Friendly Fukuoka is located at the tip of northern Kyushu, 
along a bustling trade route that has historically made it a popular choice to visit in Japan. Food lovers will delight in Fukuoka's mouthwatering culinary options. From the incredible mobile food scene to, of course, the internationally renowned Hakata Ramen. Beyond Fukuoka, Western Japan is making itself even more enticing to visitors. New luxury openings and a world's first expedition cruise are among the plethora of reasons to head for Western Japan in 2023. In the Seto Inland Sea, which separates Japan's main island of Honshu from the islands of Shikoku and Kyushu, luxury small ship company Ponant has announced a first ever expedition cruise from Osaka in 2023, which will sail along Japan's oldest sea route. Back on Kyushu, the new Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen conveniently connects cosmopolitan Nagasaki to Japan's vast bullet train network, which is a good thing as there's a new Ritz-Carlton coming in the summer of 2023 to the vibrant gateway city of Fukuoka. Also, in the hot spring town of Yufuin, the 264 guests La Soleil will chart a seven-night course towards the Sea of Japan starting in May 2023. Mexico Go for Design Forward Boutique Hotels with a boom of design-forward stays opening their doors in an already easy-to-love destination marked by verdant jungle and brilliant waterways, the Yucatan Peninsula, in Mexico's southeastern bounds, is poised to be one of the most enticing areas to visit this year. Casa Chablé opened in December 2022 with 10 rooms and bungalows. Guests take a 40-minute boat ride through lush mangrove forests to arrive at the resort's 12 acres of tropical jungle fronted by white sand beaches. Plus, situated in the tranquil Ishpuha Cove, between the two bustling towns of Tulum and Playa del Carmen, the ultra-luxurious boutique property Hotel Esencia opened in November as one of the most refined offerings in Riviera Maya. The Esencia Mansion, a four-bedroom private hideaway, with its own speakeasy, cinema, and rooftop infinity pool. And just outside of Merida is the new Galopina, a five-bedroom family-run guesthouse. In May 2023, Maroma, a Belmond hotel, will reopen on the Riviera Maya with 10 new waterfront suites, a refined culinary program, and a new look that will showcase Mayan culture and design with work by local artisans. For something more remote, there's El Cuyo, El Cuyo is a quiet fishing village with a population of about 1,750 inhabitants, located in a hard-to-reach corner of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Journeying to El Cuyo requires navigating a single, pothole-ridden road through dense jungle, but that's part of the charm and the reason El Cuyo remains such a hidden treasure. Though technically a sandbar, El Cuyo has a laid-back island vibe and kilometers of gorgeous white sand completely free of crowds. Conditions are perfect for kite surfing, making it the perfect place to learn, or you can just grab a book and relax at one of El Cuyo's small beachside boutiques. Inland, and an hour northeast of Mexico City, lies the mysterious pre-Hispanic city of Teotihuacan. Known for its massive size and towering pyramids, this site was one of the most influential cities of its region and time. The pyramids of the sun and moon, as well as the temple of Quetzalcoatl, make up the ancient archaeological complex. If you're up for a workout, ascend the stairs of each pyramid. Aerial views will inspire a sense of awe and make you see why Teotihuacan means the place where the gods were created. Additionally, Morelia, the capital city of Michoacan, is a stunning product of rich Mexican and Spanish colonial history. The narrow, cobbled streets winding between pink stone buildings are reminiscent of a quaint European town, but the distinct flavor of Mexican culture permeates the city, giving it a truly unique atmosphere. Towering at the heart of the city is the Morelia Cathedral, which presides over the central square. In this UNESCO World Heritage Center, you can stroll through the garden, enjoy a bite to eat, and sip mezcal while listening to live music. New Zealand Go for culture and sports, improved flight connectivity. New Zealand held out until September of 2022 to lift travel restrictions. Also, 
Flight connectivity to the U.S. is better than ever with non-stop flights from six American cities. In 2023, Auckland will be hosting a Lantern Festival for the Chinese New Year, and it's also the co-host of the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 along with Australia. There are also new hotels ready to welcome guests like the Park Hyatt, QT Auckland, Hotel Fitzroy, and Hotel Bridomart. But wait, there's more. The South Island of New Zealand, the largest of the two main islands, is renowned for its stunning mountains, fjords, glaciers, and lakes. Places like Milford Sound and Doubtful Sound will leave you dazzled by their beauty, without the hefty price tag of comparable destinations like Norway and Iceland. Exploring the South Island is all about epic road trips, lake dips, thrilling outdoor activities, and of course, learning about fascinating Maori culture. This is a destination best visited with your own wheels, so it's recommended to get a rental vehicle for the optimal experience. With New Zealand only recently reopening its borders to tourism, this pristine island and its people are ready to welcome you. Peru Go for old meets new food and drink experiences and eco stays. There are more reasons to visit Peru than just Machu Picchu. Best known for its cevicherias and pisco cocktails, Lima is a gastronomical delight centuries in the making. The perfect place for fresh seafood and to explore Peruvian cuisine. This destination should top every foodie's travel list. Ollante Tambo is best known for its archaeological site, a hillside Incan fortress that draws travelers off the train to Machu Picchu, the most spectacular archaeological site in Peru. But, as of late, the village has also become a culinary epicenter in the Sacred Valley, with local entrepreneurs placing a new era of the Andean food and drink traditions on the world stage. Don't make the mistake of hopping on the train after a meal, either. Unique hotels further the case for staying the night. The 100-year-old El Albergue Ollante Tambo is a classic home base, but you can also pamper yourself at the Colcas Eco Lodge, spa included, or sleep perched in a mountainside capsule with valley views at Sky Lodge Adventure Suites. Or, you can take the route less traveled to Machu Picchu. Across the span of five days, the Salcante Trek weaves in and out of the dense jungle and Andean mountain terrain. The beauty of the snow-capped peaks and glacier-carved valleys is sure to wow all who lay eyes on the landscape. On your scenic journey, you'll share authentic Peruvian dishes and get to know hospitable locals. Likely, you'll encounter only a few other tourists, adding to the reasons why this is one of the country's absolute best excursions. Portugal Go for lesser-known beaches and design forward stays. 2023 is set to become the year Melides emerges as the Portuguese beach spot to know. Its alluring landscape of white sand beaches, pine forests, and rice fields will soon welcome exciting new properties, including Christian Louboutin's much-awaited Vermelho this coming spring. Avoid resort-heavy areas and tourists who like to party, and rather take a trip to Tavira. Set in the Algarve, the southernmost region of Portugal, the charming city is subdued without being boring and has plenty to do without being overwhelming. Its authenticity hasn't faltered even as its popularity has grown over the years. Ilha de Tavira, an 11km sandbar, will allure you with its stunning beaches and waterfront restaurants. But don't neglect the city's easy-to-explore, budget-friendly bars and eateries. Here, you'll find delicious Portuguese pastries, excellent cocktails, and some of the freshest seafood that you'll ever have. And that's our list of 10 places to visit in 2023. Of course, there are many more, but you have some traveling to plan, and 10 is a nice round number. Leave a comment telling us where you want to go in 2023. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see future Travside videos, or watch one of our other videos.